My name is Elizabeth Diakos and I'm a career transition coach. I mainly work with uh, educators who want to get out of the education profession and move into other areas. But today this video is really for anyone who's interested in finding out what's the number one thing you can do to begin the transition process out of your workplace and into a new career. Hi Maka, thanks for joining. So today, um, I'm going to also again mention the book that I mentioned yesterday, Rising Strong by Brene Brown. This book, uh, as I said yesterday, is was a, really resonated with me, particularly when she talks about the idea of uh, setting boundaries. So um, I mentioned that, that one of the things that was holding me back from uh, leaving my job as a teacher was the equipment that we had at the school was great and I had a big kiln there that I sometimes was able to access uh, to find my own clay pieces. So when I finally woke up and realised that I could just get another kiln or go to another pottery studio to get my artwork fired, uh, it was kind of a liberating thing. I was suddenly not as attached to the workplace as I had thought I was. Uh, as I as I had felt that I was too. It wasn't just that I, I thought that I was, but I actually felt it like I was deeply attached, not just to that, but that was one of the big things for me, the access to the equipment. So um, the other thing I want to talk about today is also about setting those boundaries around your personal life and your work life. So today I want to talk about one thing that you can do that will make a huge difference and it's not as easy as you might think to actually extricate yourself, but it is possible. So one thing that I really noticed when I was thinking about leaving teaching was that I had an Edgemail email address. So it was um, part of the education department email system and I had to have one for school and I actually couldn't function without one in the workplace. So I needed to have that. But I, because I'd been there for such a long time, I had used that email address for about eight years and so I realised that I was actually, everything was tied up to that email address. So my passwords, if I logged into something, I would use that email address, my iTunes, everything was on that email address. And so over a period of about two years, I slowly began to substitute that email, the work email address for a personal one. And so by the time I left teaching, I had actually successfully managed to take all of my personal life back into my personal realm and keep my work life separate. And if you are, you are able to do that, that is one really big step, not only from a practical point of view, because as soon as you leave the job, they cut off your, your email address. And so if you, if you haven't already made those arrangements, you're really stuck because you can't access your old emails. But more than that, it's a psychological distancing between you and the workplace so that you begin to start carving out your own personal space, your own personal life that is separate from your workplace. And that is such an important element in making the transition out of your current career and into a new career and hopefully into a life that you will be uh, happy with and that you will feel that you're able to be your best possible self. So that's really all I've got to say today. It sounds simple. Trust me, it's harder than you think because you realise uh, as you start the process how many things you've got tied up with your work email. But if you're able to make that transition over time, I, th I think that's a really good place to start. It's not hard, but it is uh, a lengthy process and so when I'm talking to clients who are wanting to get out of teaching, I that's one of the first things I'll suggest to them, to start extricating themselves by separating out their personal life from their work life and by email, your email address is one way to do that. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you for listening and watching and I'd just like to remind you that if you would like to get in touch with me, you can um, go through my website, www.larksong.com.au or you can private message me here on Facebook. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Bye.